modern conveniences are often taken for granted. Think toilets, for example. There was a time in Masterton when people would leave a bucket of human waste out of the street every evening, ready for collection. These days, Masterton District Council collects and treats all the wastewater that is produced by its 21,000 urban residents. That's an average of 13 millilitres every day, enough to fill five Olympic-sized swimming pools. 24-7, a network of pipes transport Masterton's wastewater four kilometres to the Homebush Wastewater Treatment Plant. Here, the wastewater is treated to standards that protect public health, the local environment and our waterways. It surprises some people to learn that wastewater is 99.9% .9 water and comes from toilets, showers and washing machines. The remaining 0.1% includes organic matter like human waste and things that shouldn't enter our pipes like cooking fats, wet wipes and stormwater. Unfortunately, wastewater sometimes includes things like household chemicals and paint that can be harmful to our health and our waterways, so effective treatment is very important. The Homebush Wastewater Treatment Plant is a state-of-the-art operation and one that we're really proud of. From a central control room, we can manage and monitor the whole operation. The treatment process starts when raw wastewater enters the plant and is passed through the gravel trap and then a series of steep screens which remove any solids greater than 3 millimetres. The sorts of things found in the screening process include rags, wet wipes, toys, jewellery, false teeth, even cash. From here, the wastewater is pumped into huge treatment ponds. The ponds are divided into two primary ponds linked to five secondary ponds. The ponds are laden with bacteria hungry for faecal matter and other solids. Churning, aerators, and ear and health circulation. It is the perfect environment to break down the solid matter. As nutrient levels fall, a natural die-off of bacteria and other life occurs. After around 25 days, the treated water is passed through the secondary ponds until it's sufficiently treated to be suitable for discharge. We do this through irrigation to land, and when the environment is considered suitable, we return treated water to the environment via the Ruahanga River. At what's called the diffuser outfall, river water is mixed with the treated water at a ratio of 40 to 1, a similar ratio to the pinch of salt added to a cake mixture. The treated water is green because of its harmless algal content. Treated water can only be discharged to the river when the river is above a certain flow, a condition of Homebush's strict resource consent. At low river flows, the treated water is held in ponds. A key feature of the Homebush plant is the discharge of treated wastewater to land using border strips. The border strips are a series of fields separated by raised mounds that act as small dams, enabling controlled application rates. There are 147 border strips covering an area of around 70 hectares. Grass crops are planted on the strips which are harvested for baleage and sold to farmers. Treated wastewater is also being used for irrigation on neighbouring council-owned land leased for crop production. All irrigation on land for crop production is undertaken in line with the World Health Organisation guidelines. There is huge potential to use more of the treated water in this manner. After all, treated water is a resource, so it would be a shame to see it go to waste.